I'm so happy to see you guys. Welcome to another episode of Pickups. Today, we're talking all things Godzilla, specifically the original Godzilla from 1954. Godzilla is definitely one of my favorite monsters of all time. I have a very vivid memory of being like four years old. Uh, living up in uh, Bellingham, Washington, and checking out Godzilla for the first time on TV and being completely mesmerized. Now, growing up, I really didn't have a lot of knowledge of Godzilla. It unfortunately just wasn't something that came up on the radar uh, for things that I was paying attention to outside of having that one specific memory of being a four-year-old watching it. So over the last handful of years, I've actually been able to pick up quite a few Godzilla VHS tapes. And I haven't gotten to watch all of them, but the ones that I have watched specifically like the 1984, 1985, and as I look over, uh, I believe it was like Godzilla Goes to Space. I had the movie poster hanging up over there. Uh, if you watch video Rental Chaos, you'll see it in the background. But it's always been a joy though, anytime I've been able to sit down and watch any Godzilla movie. Minus maybe that 1998 remake with Matthew Broderick, which a lot of people love, but it's actually a movie I haven't seen in quite some time. So I actually probably owe it to that film to actually sit down and rewatch it. But with that all being said, we're not here to talk about the history of Godzilla. We're here to talk about one particular film. And that's the 1954 original, Godzilla. Straight up out of Japan, uh, the Criterion version Version. This was released originally back in 2012. Um, I just recently picked it up off Amazon for a sweet deal of 20 bucks. If you're still able to, I think you can get on there and probably get it for the same price. I don't know if it was a limited deal or not, uh, but let's just go ahead and like open this thing up. As you can see here, Godzilla. Look at the look at the artwork on this cover here. I mean, that is that is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. That is simply. I mean, that's the only word that I can really use to describe it. Is beautiful. Criterion does such an amazing job when it comes to the artwork for these films. Um, I'm going to be kind of easy opening this one up here as you can see you get the, the water, you got Godzilla's mouth cup head coming out of the water, um, you got the other end right there. So let's go ahead and open this up. So automatically right off the bat here we get a pretty sweet little booklet giving the history of Godzilla which I was able to watch this last night for the very first time. And, you know, obviously it's a Japanese film. It's subtitled through, throughout the entire, you know, hour and a half movie. And it pretty much just lays out what you would expect in a Godzilla movie moving forward, you know? The original Godzilla is a very fun film, okay? Like, I really enjoy foreign films. It's not something that I can say I've watched a lot of, but anytime I'm able to sit down and read a, watch a movie and have to, you know, read subtitles throughout the whole entire film, I usually have a pretty good time doing it. And Godzilla is no exception. So the plot points for any Godzilla film is usually the same, and it, it all started here with 1954. Um, you, you got some scientist, he wants to save Godzilla, he doesn't want to kill Godzilla, he wants to study Godzilla, and then you have the one scientist that's just like, dude, I'm ready to blow this guy the fuck up out of the water, like, let's do this. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out the original Godzilla, I highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this booklet really quick. Um, if you can, just go ahead and just do, we'll do a quick little uh, jump through on here. You got the chapters. What else do we got here? You got the cast information. Uh, again, if you're able to go onto Amazon and pick this up, I, I highly suggest it. I really highly suggest picking up any Criterion release. I really think Criterion, uh, but you hear a lot about all these other like boutique labels, but I really think Criterion always goes above and beyond when it comes to any of its releases here. And I was really happy with the Godzilla release here. So we have the booklet right here. And we'll go ahead and jump right back into the actual um, case for the movie, which this is, this this part, I'm really, I was really happy with. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, but check this shit out, dude. Boom, it's Godzilla. No, nah, dude, look at that. That is so cool. You get the single disc. Uh, from what I could tell, there wasn't too many special features. I'm sure if I can kind of go through the back really quick, but I mean, just look at that pop up, dude. You don't see that a lot, dude, and that is so cool. I was so happy to see that. So, um, as you yeah, as you saw there, single disc. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and pop back on over to the uh, to the slip cover there. Uh, kind of going through the Blu-ray special features here. So you get a new high definition digital restoration with uncompressed uh, monurial soundtrack. New high definition digital restoration of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Terry Morris's 1956 reworking of the original with uncompassed Amon um, are real. Uh, shows how stupid I am. Soundtrack. So new audio commentary for both movies. 
uh, by film historian David Collat. So is there two movies on here? I can't, oh, cool. So I didn't even, I didn't even really realize this, but uh, so yeah. A thrilling tactical spectacle that continues to be a cult phenom phenomenon. The original 1954 Japanese version is presented here along with Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the 1956 Americanized version. Holy shit, I didn't even notice that until like, I only watched the Japanese version. Holy shit, so you're telling me I have a second version to watch on here? Damn, you know what I'm doing tonight, dude. You know what I'm doing tonight. So I guess that, that'll pretty much go ahead and end it here. Um, again, I love Godzilla. Um, as a child, that one experience that I had watching Godzilla on TV, it definitely set forth, um, you know, definitely curiosity moving forward, man. It was like, again, Godzilla wasn't necessarily my favorite thing to, to pay attention to as a kid, but as I got older, um, I have definitely fallen back in love with Godzilla. And so let's go ahead and end it right here. Um, all I gotta say is, dude, I love Godzilla. Godzilla is the shit. If you haven't uh, had the chance to go out and, and either check this out or purchase a copy of the Criterion On collection, you should definitely add it to your library. It's definitely something I highly suggest. Go check out the brand new Godzilla movie that just came out. Plus you got the new Godzilla Kong movie that's coming out here uh, within the next couple months also. So you might as well check that out as well. But until then, if you haven't checked out a brand new episode of Video Rental Chaos, go ahead and check it out. Brand new episodes of Spin This with Kevin Porter. Go check it out. And until next time, peace.